Nope, but we're just going deeper into the subway. Right, see, we can go back there. That, that's pretty cool. We can go back. But more story. Ahead is the train platform. And beyond that, the tracks. If we follow them, they will lead us outside. Good going, PF. Okay, can I call her something else than PF? It's going to get really strange. Pers I'll call her Frame. So that makes me think of Fatal Frame. So. Oh, earthquake. Another earthquake. If there is a stronger quake, the structure could be compromised. You mean we'll be in trouble? Yes. Grave trouble. We must hurry. But what? I sense great danger coming from the platform. Do not linger while traversing. To be, to be fair, you were telling me there was great danger from the jellyfish, and those weren't anything. Those are shit, uh, those are pretty easy, but... And do not strain yourself. Turning back is sometimes the most appropriate action. I hope there's something, like, really terrifying that's gonna make me jump out of my skin. The likelihood that you will have a safe passage is... I mean, you'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Together we'll be fine. Yes. Are you being paid to be optimistic for me? Uh, I have plenty of optimism for myself. Follow the tracks out. Okay. Why don't they want us to linger? I mean, jellyfish are not that dangerous. You can build a fire over there. Believe me when I say that rest and retreat can be heroic in their own ways. Okay. Well, yes, that, that's all good. Oh, look, water. Okay, so we'll activate the fire just because I want to hear what he says this time. Ah, so comfy. Hmm, I see. I like how they record all these different dialogue lines just for fire sequences. But anyways, yeah, we got a thousand yen. Now that makes us to two thousand. We're all a bit richer. What the? What are you doing by my fire? You are my valued customer, indeed. I don't know if I have anything to sell, but I probably can't sell that. Healing candy drop. Old man's letter. You know what? I don't have anything to sell. I do have something maybe to buy. What do you sell? You just sell me food? Uh, what's this? A stick. You're selling me a stick. How, how, how do I switch over? D-pad? Okay. Bamboo sword. Alright, got one equipped. Healing drop candy. Stick. Bamboo sword. Until a weapon breaks, I'm not gonna need any of this stuff from you. Thanks for thanks for the information and all that, but I'm done. Thanks for nothing. Chicken Have a egg. nice day! Pays palm on that one. We'll save just for the time being. I just saved a little before this, but you know, nothing. It doesn't really take that long to save. Just nice progress. I won't have to sit through that again, I guess. It wasn't bad or anything. I'm just, you know, progress, move forward, so we have less to overcome if something does happen. Especially since he's all warning me. And just in case whatever comes for me is a lot is as terrifying as she's saying, making it out to be. Dogs. Yeah. There's several dogs here. You know what? I'm actually not gonna fight them. Yeah, I see that dog. Fuck me! Okay, so, you know what? Dogs can go on their lonesome. I'll just find my way out of here. Where's the exit, though? Let's find another way past all the dogs. Fuck me. 
know what? You know what? I'll take the rest of the fire. Hopefully they aren't smart enough to go up here. God damn that! So the dogs are dangerous. They're more dangerous than they first appear, but I don't know where I'm supposed to be going down there. It's like there's nothing on my map to tell. Oh, fuck me! The dogs are like right behind me. Is this it? No, no! I'm just trying to find a way out, puppies. There's the way out. Okay. I didn't even know that was a door. That tells me how much I was paying attention. Oh well. The dogs didn't hurt me that much that time. I probably have like 90 health right now. Let's see how much health do I have. Uh, 80 health. Okay, that's a little bit worse than I thought, but that's not that much worse. So my point being, I can just travel through the train cards right now. Oh, it's those arm things. Back, you arms! The arms aren't that bad. That is cool, but... Okay, so we just go through all these arms and make our way across. Alright, so this doesn't even be much in the train besides that. We got some, actually some interesting things on the train I wasn't even really noticing. Nothing that really looks particularly useful, but interesting. So that's the way that we we're going, so we just continue going that way to the next train car. Look, it's a place to make a bonfire. Why not? Where's the merchant will visit at this time? In the uh, am I starting to talk to myself? I was already doing that a long time ago, Sano. Let's see. Save otherwise. Yep, we got it. All good. Back to resuming. So there's the fire, which means here's the long way through the train up ahead. It's very dark in here. I can see stuff better on my other camera, but on the TV I'm playing on, things are actually relatively dark right now. Which makes it hard to tell where I'm going. Let's see, I think we're almost outside. That is great. Oh, I got some nice little stuff all over the place. Oh, that, that looks actually very nice. It looks like a very nice twilight or a dusk. Dusk. Golem! <laughs> so we are out of here. Nice stairwell, nice everything. And the sky looks very interesting. Hints of green and all that. It's very artsy. Cutscene. red. It must be dawn. Yes. Dawn is the time of day when the sun is below the horizon. Sunlight bounces off particles in the upper atmosphere and scatters, causing the phenomenon of a colorful sky. With today's strong winds, more particles must have been kicked up to result in the exceptionally deep red we perceive now. Um, excuse me, are you listening? Yeah, it's so red and pretty. Yes, it is stunning. Just beautiful. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. Yes? Being of assistance to my user is my primary protocol. Ask anything you so desire. Well, uh, before, I saw a silver-haired girl. Have you seen her around here? A silver-haired girl, you say? Just a moment. Please stand by while I conduct a search of my databanks. I should mention that an ongoing power shortage has restricted access to the compressed files in my database. 
I wasn't able to scan all of my records, but... You know her? Yes, I mean, no. Which is it? Pardon me. It is just that of the memory I was able to access. A silver-haired girl might or might not have shown up. You've seen her? It's possible. And yet, it's possible I have not. Oh. So you haven't seen her. But wait! I might be able to estimate where the girl would be at present. This is only a theoretical calculation, but when it comes to the general location of people, the underground shopping mall in the station we were just at was always lively with crowds. So perhaps... Some people might still be there? Yes. In the past, it was always bustling with activity. So there is a possibility it is that way now. Okay. How do we get to this underground mall? The entrance to the underground mall can be found on the second floor of the station where we just were. However, that passage is always kept locked. Oh, but do not worry. There is a chance that the key to the passage is being kept in that storehouse up ahead. Hmm. I'd say it is at least an 80% chance. All right, then. Let's head to that storehouse, right? Affirmative. Inside, you will need to locate a thin, gold-plated key. And one more thing. Please be careful. Yeah, I know. All right, now I already know where the passage to where we need to go is, so I just, we just need to get the key. So find the key. Before that, though, I just kind of want to explore outside a little bit, just because I love to admit, aesthetically, that sky is beautiful. It's, of course, it's all artsily drawn, but it's very nicely drawn. So that storehouse is where we're headed to, and where we came from even looks just as bizarre, but... I'm getting some form of reading on my... <laughs> what is that? Like, there's a sound that kind of sounds like a duck. It should be right here. Oh, there's something there. Sounds like a frog. Okay, I guess I've been chasing a frog. That sounds more like a duck to me than a frog, but... Okay. Place for a fire here. And I decided to stop every fire to hear what he says. Until he starts repeating things. He didn't even say anything that time. No, oh, well, might as well save. That was a very nice cutscene and all that, but I already have it recorded, so I don't need to get it again. Alright, so let's well, not save again. Handbook is just the items that we're carrying. Because we have limited things, we'll resume the game. I kind of want to walk past the shed first, just to see if I can. I bet Dollar will be blocked off or something, but. Oh, look, it's a cricket. That's a lot of fireflies. I guess that's supposed to be firefly rather than crickets. Like, there's the tower watch I'm supposed to go to off in the distance. It still looks awfully far away. Like, I bet that tower's probably in a city, and right now it looks like I'm in the country. Which is A-OK -okay to be in the country, don't get me wrong. It's just I look like I'm quite far away from where I'm supposed to be going to right now. Like, let's look what's over here before I go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a cat? It is a cat. Kitty. Walk pretty slowly. 
key just keeps running away from me. Yeah, it looks like the town is blocked off. Over there in the distance, we can see the Tokyo Tower. We're walking there, but we keep on getting distracted. I've been noticing that. Then again, I guess we don't need to go there. It's just he was advised us to go over there. Nope, I can't even duck under that. Just an invisible wall. Oh, and go across it this way. But nope, there's a visible wall right there. Okay, so I guess the only place to go right now is this shed. But before we go inside the shed, I kind of want to go around the shed because there's a way to go around. Hey, look. Fireflies around something. You just found the mystery item. Okay. And visible wall. Visible wall. So at least let me go to the gates because there's gates here. That, that's a good enough excuse for me not to get past something, but invisible walls are annoying. Why is there train tracks lead right to this building? I guess that'd be a train tunnel, maybe? Kind of a peculiar way to have a train tunnel, but that's okay. Like this area, if that wasn't crazy, it kind of looks more like a prison than a train shack. But maybe it's where like a train would come out, like where they would store a train at night. That might be it. Yeah, that probably is it. Let's go inside then. It might open. Which means in this world of percentages, it will open. Who is it? Mommy? I hear someone. Whoa! Uh. Hmm... You're not my mommy. Uh, hi. Look, I'm trying to find a key, but I guess you wouldn't know about it. Hey, hey! Play with me! Play again with me! Now, be a good girl and listen. We're looking for a gold... I am too, listening. <laughs> You're looking for this key! It's gold and thin, so... There is a 97% chance that it is the key we need. Listen, uh, could you let us borrow that key? No! We are on a very important mission. Please. No, no, no! It's sparkly and pretty! It's mine! Stop being so bratty and hand it over immediately. I like how this machine says half of what I want to say about certain aspects of this game for me. So I wasn't going to say anything. See if she said exactly what I was thinking, and she just said it. Let's listen. She's dead yet. Oh, come on, don't cry. Like you touched that silver haired girl. <laughs> Shut up. I said play with me. Oh, okay then. What do you want to play? Hide and go seek. Hide and go seek? I knew it. This is the memory of that girl we got the origami crane thing from. Yeah. I'll go hide and you find me. If you win, I'll give you the key. It seems we must comply. Yeah, I guess so. Okay then, come on. Let's play hide and go seek. Yay! I'm gonna go hide now! I'm ready! Okay. Over time, I'm gonna be annoyed. Tutorial start. Hide and seek. The little girl is invisible, but listen carefully and you can hear her voice of the Wii speaker, or Wii remote speaker, the louder her voice the closer you are to her. Nya nya, you'll never find me. <laughs> when you think you have her, press A, but every time you mess up, she'll find a new place to hide and you'll have to try all over again. Best of luck. 
You know, I like stuff like this. This is a nice diversion in the game. Okay, so... Sounds really loud. Quiet over there. Are you here? Gotcha. Yep, we got on our first try. I'm good. Bowie, no fear. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> you just got lucky. You won't get. Did she drop the key? Gotcha! Huh? Uh, We're supposed to find her again! It's not. I got her on the first time. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to look at her, I was wondering where she put the key though. Okay, so she's right away, let's find her again. Okay, so she sounds like she's over here. That's where she is. Gotcha! Yep, I was right. <laughs> you know I'm just good at this. Well, actually, I'm trying. this. What a brat, though. Where is she? Huh? Oh, I thought you had her. Ah, uh, guess not. <laughs> that was in the right direction, though. Let's try this again. Got her. Now she has to give it to me three times the charm in these type of things. Uh-oh, you found me! That means you win the game! Wow, you were good at that. It wasn't easy finding you. It wasn't? <laughs> I'm pretty good at hiding, but I'm not so good at running. Oh, and don't forget this. It's for you. Here you go, like I promised. Thank you. Here, you can have this in exchange. I found it in the station. Oh, this is my mommy's. She made it special just for me. Sweetie, I'm sorry it took me so long. Mommy! Hmm? What is it? Oh, Mommy! Yes, yes. Now what is it? P please Mommy! Hmm? Please, don't leave me alone. Ever again! I 
won't. I promise. You promise. <laughs> She's gone. I guess I'm all by myself again. Well, technically speaking, you were not by yourself. What? Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. I've still got you. Yes. Me and my backpack together forever. You got the key to the underground mall. Luckily, I know exactly where I'm going. Find the entrance to the station mall. I already know where it is. I found it when I was looking around earlier. Oh, yeah, I'm still crouching. <laughs> Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything of much interest elsewhere inside this little shack. So I guess back through the subway we go, even though we'll have to run past through, like, past... Uh, wait, wait, there's something on the door, isn't there? Yeah. It's like crown drawings. It shows a mother and a daughter holding the thing. There's all these trees, there's train tracks, there's sunshines and sparkles. And there's a sign going on. Wait, what? Now what this said. Please help. Was the, wait, what? I would say please help. Oh, I think I know what happened. So probably based on all the child scrawlings on this wall, the please help sign, the pictures, what I was just doing, probably the girl was playing hide and go seek with her mother and she hid inside this shack. She must have been locked in here or something. I don't know exactly why, but she was never found. Died by whatever was... I mean, I guess... Everybody's dead. I mean, it seems like the world's in a post-doomsday type state. So I guess she died inside that shed by whatever killed everyone. Or maybe she died before then. I don't know, but... We're going our way back, though. Sorry, that was attack. I was just making sure it's not a run button. That's crouch. Okay, it's okay. It's okay if you're not super fast, Sado. I'm, st I'm coming to like you, to be quite honest. Here's the fire we were at earlier. Might as well save. We're gonna run into a few fires on our way back, but... Uh, oh, man. Wow. Torn letter. Read the memory. We, we picked up a torn letter. Okay, let's see what it says. I'd always meant to see you, but now it's too late. The world is over, but might wake up again. But it doesn't matter. You'll never find this. And even if you do, what will the awakened world be like? Will the stars still be in the sky? Will the moon still shine down on us? Okay. So I guess the world ended. Oh, and Chicken Man, I was about to make a really Fancy cool analogy. You here. A splendid surprise. Yes, great surprise, Chicken Man. Okay. Hmm. We have on the menu this time. Sticks. Thanks, bro. Bamboo swords. Ooh, cat toy. What's a cat toy do? Let's read the info on that. A cat toy with bi with bushy tails of feathers at its tip. Wave it around and the kitties will come running. Hmm, it's not that expensive. Give me your cat toy. How many would you like? I'll take one, please. Thank you for your kitty toy. Ah, yeah. Okay, what else do you have? Healing candy. Yep, that looks like all I need for now. Thank you. you came in. I shall see you again. See you again too. Obnoxious. I mean, cool. Story will start. Cat toy. Give it a good shake. Equip the cat toy and press A when cats are nearby to lure them to you. Okay. I, I figured that out myself, but that's already okay. 
I guess I'll save. I think I saved already, but I'll save just in case. But anyways, though, that it was interesting, but I was going to say, so apparently, according to that lady, it seems like the world ended. And I guess when the world ended, it's kind of like the world went to sleep. Animals are still alive, I can see that. But it seems like there's a lack of people. See, look, there's a cat right now, speaking of the devil. But now let's try attaching this little cat thing. Oh wait, that's my flashlight. Okay, but anyways, the... How do we equip the ta a cat toy? Shutter key, bamboo sword, key down the ground wall, light icon, bamboo sword, stick. How do items? Torn letter, old man's letter, strange stone. Okay, what's this over here? Cat toy. Info? I already know how it works. How do we equip it here? Let's go to our hand thing. Cause I don't see the cat toy here. Key to the ground. Shutter key. Healing candy drop. Stick. There's my status. I'm currently have 140 health. I, my damage is going up and all that. A map. Currently, look, there's a picture of the little girl we were finding and all that thing was that I was going to say, though. Maybe I already have it equipped. Okay, I'll figure it out later. The point is, I have a cat toy. That's the frog noise. That, that sounds actually a little bit... That is not the frog noise. Fuck what? Dogs! What the? There were not dogs here earlier. Okay. Well, we got past them, luckily. So if there's more. Are they like demon dogs? Not actually even dogs. But I'm running. I don't need. I need. I just need to ignore you, puppies. If another pack comes. I'll try attacking one. So, we'll see. I think we made it to the cave, but those dogs literally came out of nowhere. I was like, what? Before you know it, doggies. Whoever made this game seems to be a, more of a dog person. I mean, more of a cat person than a dog person. <laughs> That's all I want to say. Now, technically, I've never actually owned a dog, so. But I have owned cats, so we open that and we take another rest. <sighs> so comfy. Alright. I just want to see if you'd actually say something, not I actually had anything to do to the fireplace. I'm not going to be saving that often, I just kind of want to hear if he has anything to say. So we're just going to go back inside the train that we came from. You know, there's, actually there's probably more fireplaces than there should be. 